skirt and no shoes, we could probably like light this whole building. It's fantastic. Now next up is a pocket rocket. She is 15 years old. Her name is Polly Knott. Now, she is the CEO, and 15, she's the CEO and founder of Tell Someone Who Cares. She's an overachiever. She's a fantastic public speaker and she has created this company for social enterprise dedicated to disrupt, disrupting the palm oil industry. Her motto, which I love, the world is not remote, so you have to get up and change yourself. How cute is that? I love her. Bring her out here. Holly! What I do is I use my voice to try to make the world a better place. So my mission is to uplift humanity, you know, and to... I want to disrupt old paradigms and destructive practices that harm the planet and its beings, uh, to do business in a way that fits within our planet's boundaries, and to inspire others to co-create change and a healthy, clean, green, sustainable future for this planet. But what I actually do is I'm a singer, a public speaker, social justice and environmental advocate, a slam poet, and the CEO and founder of my current business called Tell Someone Who Cares. And that's a social enterprise dedicated to protecting the rainforests, disrupting the palm oil industry, and providing solutions to the destruction. So that's driven by a coconut product range. I actually have one of the soaps here. This is it. And I've been working with the Dayak people of the Borneo rainforests to produce it. And they have this amazing, sustainable, no waste factory that produces an alternative to palm oil called Rainforest Alipe Nut Butter. And every single purchase helps to regenerate the rainforest, protect endangered wildlife, and empower local indigenous peoples. And it also doubles as, oh, thank you. <laughs> It doubles as an education hub and a global community where I hope that other youth can come and find their purpose and their passion. And yeah, I really, that's really what I'm all about, just inspiring the future generations. Thank you. <laughs> How about you, Selena? Well, I'm Selena and- I was doing it 15, um, nothing too debaucherous, but it certainly was not standing on stage in front of hundreds of women talking about protecting the environment and the, the planet. I'm interested to know if there was anything special in your childhood that's led you to where you are now or your upbringing or the way that you were raised. I mean, I guess I've always had like a passionate driven personality. <laughs> and, um, but it was really my mom who told me a lot about different issues that were affecting the planet, the people and animals. And I really wanted to do something to help. Also, I had a diagnosis of autism, viral asthma, and a kidney disorder when I was younger, so we had some really amazing people helping our family during that time, and that's when I decided that people are kind and people can change your life. Wow. Pretty incredible stuff. And to have a diagnosis of autism and to get on stage with 600 women, you've certainly not had anything that's held you back, Miss Holly. You're incredible. Kathy, tell us a little bit about your... So, my enterprise, I guess, is, I mentioned before, it's about disrupting the palm oil industry, and there's three main ways to do that. You can purchase the products, adopt an orangutan, or host a RAD day, which stands for Rainforest Action Day. And that's, uh, it's like a fundraiser day that you can hold at a school or workplace, and all you have to do is wear green or something green to school or work and bring in a gold coin donation. So I had a seven-year-old email me the other day who wanted to host one of those RAD days at her school. And I can't remember exactly what she said, but she said something along the lines of, um, I think what you're doing is so amazing. I know what I want to do with my life now. Be more of you. And it was just so amazing and wonderful. And I couldn't believe it. Just this seven-year-old had reached out to me. And it, it felt really amazing. I love that seven-year-old. Wow. <laughs> it truly is getting younger and younger, isn't it? Um, you need, you don't, you do not need to have clarity at seven, but that is terrific that she does. That's awesome. And how about you, Kathy? Okay. 
I mean, I think we're, we're really full. I know you have some pretty um, distinct views around organisations doing business for good. Do you want to share those with us? Yeah, sure thing. So um, something I've been saying recently is that I think all of us chief executive officers need to also become chief ethics officers and that every business should have some kind of a social purpose behind it. Um, but to be honest, my belief is that we need to change society itself, like restructure the social and economic systems that enable poverty and environmental issues. And then we wouldn't need to rely on social enterprises or charities as much. Um, but in the meantime, before we make that complete change, there are so many issues that need solving. Like imagine if every single business had a social purpose or closed the gap between one issue and another, like uh, food wasting and starvation and poverty. We would make so much impact through that. Or if even they just donated a percentage of their revenue, of their revenue to a certain charity foundation, if you don't feel like your business is specifically aligned with uh, an obvious cause. But I guess what I'm saying is, the point is, um, every single thing you do matters. So even small change counts. And like you said before, everyone can do something to make the world a better place. Um, what's your, I'm gonna ask you all the same question now. It's short and simple. The world isn't on remote, you gotta get up and change it yourself. <laughs> Great, <laughs> terrific advice. <laughs> now what is next for all of you? Maybe I'll start with you, Holly. Right, okay, um, gosh, I just have so much that I still want to do, but, um... <laughs> What's next? What's next? <laughs> um, uh, I've spent a lot of time really growing the brand of Tell Someone Who Cares, so I want to build up a huge customer base, and I really want to grow the Tell Someone Who Cares community, establish more partnerships and collaborations, get the rad days into more schools and workplaces, um, I want to expand the product range, gain sponsorship and funding. Oh, and something I'm really excited about that I just wanted to quickly mention is that um, I actually just made it to the finals in two categories of the American Stevie Business Awards on the 16th. And the award ceremony is going to be held in New York, so it's really exciting. Thanks. That's awesome. How about you, Selena? What's